الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد some of the manners for supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and some of the the manners and characteristics we should observe when we're supplicating and praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the first things is that when we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we do so with uh, we we do so observing the manner by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and glorifying him and then supplicating for peace and blessings to be bestowed on the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then we should supplicate for that which we uh want for whatever we want that is lawful of course and this uh these manners are illustrated in several hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam one of them the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said اذا صلى احدكم فليبدا بتمجيد ربه وثناء وثناء عليه ثم يصلي على النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ثم يدعو بعد بما شاء رواه ابو داود والترمذي وصححه الالباني so in this uh, this narration and this was a narration this is one of the narrations by Fudala ibn Ubaid radiyallahu ta'ala anhu was a sahabi who said he heard the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mention this mentioned that when one of you uh prays or supplicates that they should begin by glorifying their lord and praising him then they should uh salli ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam meaning they should say allahumma allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali wa muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidun majid so they should supplicate and uh make salat upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then he should supplicate for whatever he he wishes amongst some of the other characteristics or manners that should be observed when supplicating is that the person supplicating should be sincere and supplicating strictly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala realizing that supplication is an act of worship as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a dua huwa ibada that supplication is worship so supplicating only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and having hope and fear and humility and god fearfulness before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humility humbling oneself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah says when he described the characteristics of the prophets alayhim salatu was salam and the characteristics that they press, uh, possessed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says innahum kanu yusari'una fil khayrati wa yad'una raghaban wa rahaban wa kanu lana khashi'in wa kanu lana khashi'in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says describing the anbiya that verily they were the ones who strove in righteousness and doing good deeds and they supplicated to us in with uh out of hope and fear and they were of those who were fearful of us meaning that they they were they were they had god fearfulness among some of the other attributes that we should strive to possess when supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we should ask Allah the almighty with determination so don't say inshallah or like this when you are supplicating when you're asking Allah be determined and be firm about your supplication to have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said qala nabiy sallallahu alaihi wasallam la yaqul ad-da'i fi fi du'aihi allahumma arhamni in shat 
لِيَعْزَمَ مَسْأَلَةً So the Prophet ﷺ said, when the person is supplicating, do not say during your supplication, O oh Allah, uh, grant me mercy, if you will, but rather be firm in what you're asking for. So if you're asking Allah for mercy and His favor and His forgiveness, do so with firmness. And don't make istithna fi du'a. Do not make, don't say inshallah, if God, if you will Allah. No. But instead you ask your Lord out of humbleness, but with a type of firmness. O oh Allah, please forgive me. O oh Allah, please grant us mercy. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please give us understanding and bless us to practice this religion in a manner that pleases you. So be firm in your supplication. As the Prophet sallallahu mentioned. Another manner uh, mannerism that we should observe when supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we should be uh, we should have love and we should have hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer us and will have mercy upon us so by not giving up and having despair uh, this is a characteristic as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam described, and another characteristic that one should possess when supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa taala is that from from the manners is that we should supplicate for ourselves and for others, supplicate for other believers. So as Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the Quran, "Wustaghfir li dhimbik." Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and seek forgiveness for your sins and for the believing men and the believing women so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that verse is showing us that we should seek forgiveness for ourselves and your fellow believing brothers and sisters asking for their guidance as well asking for their forgiveness asking for their uh you know, assistance and help as we see in this most difficult times for the believers everywhere and we ask Allah to, to guide us all and bless us on the, to be sincere to Him and bless us to be on the sunnah and follow the minhaj of al-anbiya you know, to follow the methodology of the prophets alayhim akta salatu wa salam and from, the supplic- and from the manners of supplication is also that we begin your supplication with tawheed that you begin your supplication by uh, by affirming your belief in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that as, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran فَنَادَ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ أَن لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتْ سُبْحَانَكَ إِنِّي كُنْتُ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was describing the supplication of Dhul Noom and that he was uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described in the Quran his supplication and that he said you know he established the Tawheed that he said that there is no God worthy of worship except you you know praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanaka Inni kuntu Verily, I was one of the uh, the wrongdoers. So, by supplicating and beginning with Tawheed, establishing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Tawheed, and recognizing your own uh, shortcomings and sins, that this is a way and your own uh, um, uh, inability and calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is... He is uh, Kamil, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect in His perfection. But yet we are ajiz, we are weak and deficient and in need of Him. So by establishing that relationship and calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, that these are one of the ways in which our supplication will be answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is from the manners of supplication. Another uh, action that or a, a mannerism that we should observe when supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we should be 
also very humble and striving to have also reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should make effort to achieve whatever we're trying to achieve and leave our affairs then with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Ya'qub alayhi salatu wa salam said in the Quran, in al hukmu illa lillah alayhi tawakaltu wa alayhi falyatawakkil mutawakkilin mutawakkilun. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about Ya'qub alayhi salatu wa salam that he said that verily the rulership or the 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 hukm it is for Allah. The hukm is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the, the Lord of all things and He is the sovereign Lord and, and, and the rulership, you know, that is part of His hakamiya. That is a part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sole right as a legislator of the creator of the heavens and earth and His divine law. And that He said, alayhi salatu wa salam, alayhi tuwakaltu, that upon Him we have uh, we rely upon him, relying upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And upon him, the believers, the believing people, those who rely, they, uh, this is a characteristic they possess, is that they put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they make preparations, and then they put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is another uh, mannerism that we should possess when supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another uh, characteristic we should strive to possess is to be in a place of dhikr and to have good uh, characteristics while uh, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, for example, a person should strive to, you know, to be in the best position would be to be actually facing the Qibla, facing the r- direction of Mecca while you're supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And sitting and having, you know, a peace of mind and being humble and with khushur and, and, and fear and, and humility and a comfort in the heart, you know, focusing on your supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are also characteristics of the believer and characteristic a manner that should be observed when supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And another characteristic that uh, one should strive to uh, possess is raising one's hands. Is that a person should strive to uh, supplicate by raising your hands and as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as I mentioned, uh, facing the Qibla and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to supplicate at times, raising his hands, you know, in even having wudu, this is this is for the kamal. It's not a condition that you have to be in wudu, that you have to have purification, but this is uh, to be in accordance with the sunnah, to be even more uh, perfect in your supplication and more likely to have it answered, to be prepared by raising, by having, by having, uh, purification, and supplicating by raising one's hands. As the Prophet ﷺ did, and it was mentioned in many ahadith narrations, that the Prophet ﷺ faced the Qibla, and he raised his hands, and he uh, you know, asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and even in times of jihad, the Prophet ﷺ did this, when fighting the pagans of Quraysh. And this is also something which was observed in the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ mentioned about the man who had traveled and he raised his hands but his mat'amuhu haram wa malbasuhu haram wa mashrabu haram wa ghudiyal bil haram as the Prophet ﷺ said that the man, he had traveled and he was dusty and weary from his travels and he raised his hands towards the sky. So that's another evidence to show that it, the mashru'iyati or the permissibility of supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by raising one's hands and 
but also observing the halal, making sure your provisions and your food and your drink is lawful. So those are from some of the mannerisms of uh, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who strive to please Him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all the Muslims and give us guidance and save us from the hellfire and guide our families and guide our non-Muslim neighbors and all of those people who are in need of guidance as we all are in need of guidance for our many mistakes. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure us of our ailments and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure us of the ailments of the hearts. And may Allah wa ta'ala bless the Muslimin fi kulli makan and, and take away these difficult trials and fitness that we face and may Allah give us guidance and protect us from everything which is evil and bad. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.